Welcome to Showcase Louisiana. We're in Old Metairie, where today we're at Hair Restoration of the South. I'm Jordy Hulford. We're joined by the boss, Dr. Nicole Rogers. Kind enough to join us. Great to see you. How are you? Uh, wonderful. It's great to be here with you. Thanks so much for letting us barge in on a day. We're here inside your, where all the work gets done. With all, and we'll get into all the microscopes and all the process that's involved in this ever-growing business. But your doc, you had many options in the world of medicine. Why did you choose hair restoration? Well, you know, it's interesting. When I was in college, I had a friend who had this procedure done, and I thought it was magic. Uh -huh. And ever since then, I wanted to learn about it. And so we've actually been doing it for seven years now. Okay. And um, what's great about hair transplant surgery is that it gives a permanent solution to both men and women with thinning hair. Okay. You know, it allows us to take hair from the back, which is an area where the hair is genetically programmed to grow for a lifetime right. and relocate those follicles into the frontal scalp or to the mid scalp wherever um, patients may have thinning or uh -huh. hair loss and you know although it does take a little time you know the procedures usually take all morning and part or some of the afternoon right. Right. it's worth it though it's worth it because yeah. the results will last a lifetime now to make this all work you've got to get a great staff and, and we've met your staff and we've got pictures of them doing mm -hmm. this process, but y'all mm -hmm. make it such a fun environment. They have such a good time doing what they do. We do, and you know, we're lucky because we have um, four um, full-time staff that are involved in the hair transplant procedure, mm -hmm. and they all have, you know, extensive training, not only in assisting me with the removal of the strip from the back of the scalp, mm -hmm. but then also in the separation of that strip into individual follicular units of one to four hairs, and then also wow. in placing those follicular units back into the scalp. Now, I supervise the entire procedure and I'm in the room for mm -hmm. pretty much the whole day, mm -hmm. okay? And, and so what I'm doing is I'm numbing that area, I'm designing the hairline, I'm creating all those tiny incisions in and among the existing hairs, and then I'm making sure that this is gonna be the best cosmetic result that they can yeah. achieve. God, it's gotta be a great reward because uh, people come in here wanting to improve themselves and get better and you provide that opportunity. And what a, what a, what a great, feeling that must be. It's really rewarding and the best part is when patients come back, uh -huh. you know, they come back at usually three months, six months, nine months, and then a year. And each time they come back, they're at different stages of that hair regrowth. Mm -hmm. Usually we tell them six to nine months is when they're going to start seeing the hairs come in and then usually nine to 15 months they can appreciate their full right results. There. How did you mm -hmm. Weave that course to get to where you are now. Right. So I actually um, went to college at Harvard, and um, after that, I went to medical school here in New Orleans. Okay. I came to Tulane. Okay. And then I actually stayed here. The Harvard here. of the South. The by Harvard the way. of the South, of course. Of, course. of course. And I stayed for my dermatology training. So I am a board certified dermatologist. Okay. And then I actually went to Manhattan for one year to do a hair transplant fellowship with a gentleman named Dr. Mark Avram. And okay. he's another um, very well respected dermatologist. Uh -huh. And um, so I worked closely with him, and we've actually published not one, but now two textbooks together, uh, focusing on hair restoration. Mm -hmm. And he and I have worked together on a lot of articles um, and a lot of book chapters, and we've given a lot of lectures together over the years. That's terrific. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not trying to be negative about other companies that are out there, but we see a lot of things on television ads and all these kind of places. But I like the specific, you're here, you're there, you're, you're through the whole procedure and you know what you're getting. Right, exactly. And you know, when you go to someone who has specialized experience in handling the skin and the hair, right. you know you're in good hands. Yeah. Stay with us. This is Showcase Louisiana. We'll continue from Hair Restoration of the South. My name is Dr. Nicole Rogers and I'm here in Old Metairie, Louisiana at Hair Restoration of the South where your hair is our care. And I'd like to invite you to come and visit and discuss various options for treatment of thinning hair. These can include both medical and surgical options. You don't have to go straight to surgery. In the meantime, feel free to check out our website, hairrestorationofthesouth.com and we look forward to seeing you soon.
back to Showcase Louisiana. I'm Jordy Helper. As we continue our conversation with Dr. Nicole Rogers, Hair Restoration of the South, located in Old Metairie, beautiful facility, great staff. Uh, but I'm very curious, um, what makes a viable candidate for your hair restoration process? So almost anyone can undergo hair transplant surgery, men, women, almost any ethnicity. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is that they have a diagnosis of either male or female pattern hair loss, okay. okay? Because it's harder to do the surgery successfully in things like alopecia areata, or if they have a form of scarring alopecia or cicatricial alopecia, there's less guarantee of good results, okay? okay? okay. The other thing is it's important that they have adequate donor density. That means nice thick hair even in the back of the okay. scalp, okay? okay? Because we wanna be able to know that we have enough hair that we can take from the back and it won't alter the appearance in the back. Okay, so we go through the process, and you said earlier they come back in three months and six months. How, how does it all work? Does it all of a sudden you have a full head of hair, or does something else happen before you get to that? Right, that's a great question. So after we transplant the hairs, they actually have to enter a resting phase, okay? okay? So they're actually almost going to go to sleep for about two to six weeks after the procedure, and then they're going to shed. Okay, so really? those hairs will actually come out. And when people come back at the three do month mark. Do they freak mark, out? Do they go, oh, what happened? They do, and I have to reassure them. Okay. I have to say, you know, you're not gonna see anything early on. And in fact, some people may actually look a little bit thinner at that three month mark if they have a little shedding of the surrounding hairs. Okay. okay? But then usually by six to nine months, that's when those hairs start coming in and wow. they can see their results. That's awesome. Now you did mention a good density of hair back there. If you don't have that and you're not a very viable candidate for the hair transplant, mm -hmm. medical therapy could be a, an Absolutely. answer? Absolutely. And we have tons of patients who simply start out using things like topical minoxidil, okay. um, oral finasteride, the trade name is Propecia, okay. that can be very helpful. Um, it's FDA approved in men, but sometimes I'll use it um, off-label in my female patients. There's also a medicine called spironolactone, which is, um, it's a diuretic, but it has anti-androgen properties, so we can actually use that in women who have hair thinning, but aren't yet ready to go under the surgical procedure yet. Okay, so there's, there is alternative options in absolutely, case. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm very curious, people can need to, you know, if they have some, inf need some information about this, they can go to your website, obviously, which is? Right. It's hairrestorationofthesouth.com, okay. and we have lots of before and after photos, okay. not only of patients who've undergone the hair transplant surgery, but then also patients who've successfully had results with medical therapy. And I take a lot of photos in my practice, uh -huh. um, and you know I, I think that's the best way to know no how well the procedure has worked for someone. It's awesome. I mean, I've seen them, I've gone to it and looked at it. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing. Yeah the restoration, it's, it's amazing. And what's great is just seeing the change in people's yeah. personalities and just their sense of pride and their, their sense of confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the greatest reward to me, which I get on a daily basis. That medicine's always evolving and changing. How is this business growing and evolving? How have you, I mean, I'm sure it's different now than when you first started. That's mm -hmm. why a consultation is really a good idea because we can go through the various options, the surgical techniques, the different medical options, and in many cases I'll actually recommend combining uh, medication with surgery because even though we do the hair transplant surgery, there isn't anything to stop the ongoing thinning of the hair. So that's where things like topical minoxidil and finasteride come into play. Gotcha. As well, uh, ongoing. it's a great group hairrestorationofthesouth.com uh, consultations that's that's all it doesn't doesn't hurt you in any way shape or form it's a very safe procedure you do a fantastic job a great facility and we thank you so much for sharing some time with us and kind of informing us as to how this all works we really do appreciate it all right well thank you so much for having me you're welcome okay.